Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, we are hurricane prepping and we are going through the hurricane basically. So you guys are coming along with me. Um, it is Tuesday right now and it is hitting tomorrow afternoon in kind of the middle of the night or early Thursday. So definitely, anyways, so we are going to the stores right now. We already got hay, but they were out of hay yesterday. So the horses need hay and food. They're getting more today. We're going to also get gas. We already got gas and filled up all of our trucks with diesel, filled up our ta tanks, machinery, all of that. But we um, still need to go get gas. So we are going to do that. We've been really busy. We literally cut down like four trees yesterday. I will go show you guys right now. Um, and so yeah, this is a very close hurricane. Probably the closest one we've had in a while. And um, it's definitely, we've already been flooding. And it's, so it's literally so nice out right now. Sunday and Monday, it was raining and cloudy and gloomy. It was so like looking not fun outside but and now it's like literally just like beautiful clouds oh it's like the nice part that comes before the big hurricane anyway so it is a cat five right now and it's when it hits florida it's gonna be cat three or four and then when it comes across it's gonna be two one maybe like two one like three going down level all the way through florida but it's that but still like you saw what a cap one did to north carolina like it's no messing around and where it's supposed to hit us it's gonna be near cat two and either way we're still gonna get all the outer bands of it so i will keep you guys really updated but this we are in the red line area so this is definitely gonna be very 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 close and we're taking this very seriously so let's spend the day with me we're gonna go to a lot of stores get food and stuff and then prep with me and then i will also be vlogging what the hurricane looks like outside what the damage it does everything that happens the flooding all that so stay tuned to the end as you can tell i just woke up and i'm going out to the side to work now we just had a family meeting so it is now nine o'clock all horses are fed and i just dewormed and turned out Lulu Simpson. It is already so wet, guys. Beautiful day before the hurricane. Yay! Now we're loading up in the car and going to get stuff. Getting some gas and diesel, guys. Hey, guys. I am at the grocery store right now. Just picking up some things real quick. Um, and then we're about to we just got some gas too but um we're about to go to the feed store later all right guys so i'm all done apparently my brother and my mom they just went to starbucks and tractor supply for some, um, for some breakfast and then they also just got some pro force because the tractor supply has it so they completed that so i didn't need to buy it but um we're good so i'll keep you guys updated throughout the day but the hurricane is supposed to hit at night so <sighs> so they don't have pro force no. okay it's supposedly a and now that we have a gas at the feed store. Save a situation. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So it is a couple hours later. We um. Went to the feed store, got hay, as I showed you guys, um, and we put all that away, and then we were just, uh, when we cutting down those trees um, that I showed you, um, that will, that earlier in the video, that um, had a pipe going through the barn, so that broke, but we fixed it yesterday, so we just buried that, and now we, um, I just came in some lunch, and my brother's cleaning the pool right now, I'm um, just resting, but I will keep you guys updated, and I think I'm going to cook some stuff tonight, just get like food prepped and stuff, I will keep you all updated though. Guys, I just finished cleaning the barn now, and we're gonna go grab some dinner, but, and I just rode a little bit too. I just needed to find some peace, but look, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. There's the moon up there. It's just so beautiful, and night before the hurricane. <laughs> wow, it was just so bright, and now, oh my God. What a beauty, sunset. Thank you, Jesus. You know, this is just beautiful, and seeing that, I just feel protected. Like, he's gonna protect us, amen. All right, guys, I'll show you what we eat for dinner, but so far, good. And we've almost finished preparing, so I'm really glad because we had a lot to do, and now we're going to grab some dinner. Yeah. Yeah, when, he said that, when he said that the time between the tribulation... 
just enjoying some dinner and playing around. Alright guys, day of hurricane. Alright, it's supposed to hit tonight and it's 1.30 so it's supposed to hit around 6, 7 and then in the night. So I'll keep you guys updated but we're finishing up things. It's already been raining so I'm knocking down another tree guys in the rain. Hurry, just put her in the hallway. I need some hay. Come on, hurry. Alright, horses are safe. One Kashi, one Redeem, one Bella. Yep. It's okay. That was a good job, Todd. Yeah. It's okay. Why does Bella look like a Frisian right now? Well, your barrel almost had a dent in that. <gasps> oh my god. Hey guys, so um, the little one's resting on me, but we are just watching a show, um, and it is now coming, like it is very, very close to Tampa, and um, and we are getting a lot right now, like it is so windy, and it still hasn't even hit the state or in the state, so when it is like, gets close to us, like it's gonna be crazy, like this bad, like it's literally like really, really windy right now, and it's like raining hard, and it's not even near us, like where it's, where it's coming, um, but, so I will keep you guys updated, I'm sitting on the couch, but you can see out the window, yeah, it just keeps getting like wind, um, different winds, but, anyways, so guys, I will keep you all updated, I made some chili and some muffins and stuff this morning, but, um, so far, good and the horses are good i'm about to feed them and but we are definitely getting hit in the middle of the night which is really going to be unfortunate but i will keep you all updated here's our power line so um at first it was really coming right over us actually but then it's sort of gone um down florida which is good but it if it, it is in near orlando which is about like an hour away from us there's a so it's very like close, like an hour away, and they go up to 300 miles and stuff, and we are already so wet, like, and it's so windy, and it's just now getting close, really close to Tampa. All right, guys, it is way later. We are going to bed. We're all sleeping in the living area. It is the safest place. Um, and my brother's room is also really safe, but we're gonna wake, it is about 8.30 now. We're gonna wake up at, um, I just baked some cookies, and we're gonna wake up at about 2 a.m., so I will keep you all updated because that's when it's supposed to hit and a little bit before, so we'll be really ready. I have to check on the animals. Bella was already shivering tonight and um, it's very important because they can get very scared and I might have to let them out and stuff. So it's gonna be a while, it's gonna be 2 a.m. We're gonna be up, we're gonna be looking, we're gonna be ready and I will be vlogging as much as I can. And then of course in the morning, you'll see if any damage or anything happened in the horses and update stuff. So see you guys next time I pick up this camera. Alright guys, 2 a.m. Just lost power. Keep you updated. Guys, it's so powerful.
Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Underwater. Guys. Underwater. Tack room. I had to come out here and, um, it slowed down, so I came in and quickly helped the horses to make sure they're all okay. This is the little baby's first sort of a hurricane, and she would, I don't want her to jump or anything, but the pasture, the feed room, everything is underwater, guys, and now I'm in the tack room. We already ran out of power, and it, this is literally, I've been out here for five minutes, and it is crazy. I'll show you guys the rest of the morning. I'm going to go inside now. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Probably got like three hours of sleep. I finally can actually see. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I don't even. Oh my gosh. Gasting. Oh my gosh. They're just floating away. Oh my gosh, there's a pillow over there. It must be in the garage then. Oh. This is the tack room. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Things blow. Oh. What is in that? <laughs> the barrel said you could take flight. Oh, the All the jumps knocked down. Oh, that one teal. That thing really. That one? <laughs> Dude, I gotta get some pictures of this. It's okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like you, you, like, I feel like last time there was some ground, you know, where we could, like, get a high spot. Like, there is no ground. Like, literally right here. Oh, the feed room. There's another croc. Where's the feed room? Oh, this door. Oh my. And it's raining more. Chat. They're floating. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, look at this whole cold. Oh, then I'm walking through pegs. Oh, it's even hot. Oh, I'm guessing these beddings probably are not waterproof. There goes that. And and I like I literally. Yo, the chickens are. Whoa! You look. Their hooves are gone. Gone. Yo, chicken. Look at the chickens. I gotta get a picture. Sorry, dude. All right, guys. It is so wet out, and um, it is so wet. Like, like, like. There's no dry ground, even in the barn. Like, we've rose the barn. We have. <laughs> but you guys can tell. Oh my gosh, look at all of it. You see how our, like everything's wet until that hill. That's where our house is on. Thank the Lord for that, cause. But I mean, I just don't even know where to really start. <laughs> But they have to get out of here. I had to get their hooves up because they're going to start to get cold, especially this one. The chickens, everything, everyone's miserable and mad right now. They're so cold, wet, and, I mean, the only dry place that has a cone of water, I mean, no, is Bella stall. But even Redeem stall... Yeah, they weren't joking when they said flash flooding. All right. So, this is going to take forever to dry. Where is it even going to go? Dry. All right, guys. Last night, I heard so much wind and things hitting the windows. We woke up and the windows are covered in leaves and stuff. Nothing hit any, no windows are broken, and no trees fell, um, but, I mean, that one definitely was close. There's definitely bent trees, there's branches everywhere, and it's just a lot of water, guys. 
Um, my barrels decided to fly away. No, they always catch fly all the time. Um, and these horses are wet, cold, and dirty. Like, look at this little thing. And look at her stall. Like, her stall is the one thing we couldn't, um, we didn't rise because, um, we couldn't fit the Kubota bucket into them. So, you can actually see how low it is. But even with the stalls that are raised, there's only one that's, like, could be possibly dry. So, I really don't know how long this is going to take. Like, usually, last time... I know this is gonna, um, I'm just, you know, glad everyone's okay and that it's over. Um, and I know that the sun's gonna come out tomorrow and even later this evening and dry everything up. As you can tell, I'm looking a little rough. I did not get any sleep. At first, I slept from like 10 to 2 because of just, just so much wind. And then I woke up 2. Um, I was up from then to like 4 and came out here, did the horses at 4, which is crazy. And then slept from like five to like eight. So, as you can tell, I was kind of all over the place. Probably at least like I think I got like five, six hours, which is okay. But like, I'm just exhausted. And honestly, it was just so much. Like, oh my gosh! Like you would just jump out of nowhere because you'd hear something smack the window, or you know, like it wasn't just easy sleep. And I was on the couch, so it wasn't like I was in my bed or anything. Um, but I'm gonna go show you guys the garage and. Um, just video some more of the property, but I'm gonna get these horses fed and see what I can do with them. And um, I'll keep you all updated. The fact that my Crocs are just floating everywhere though, that's like just legit funny. All right, and if you guys the last time and followed me for a while now, you'll remember last time we hooked up a boogie board to Bella and we literally ran through the water and um, we were slinging, like we can run straight. We can only turn because there's only water in like the turning area. We can literally run straight. I don't know how deep it is though in the high areas that you know, like my arena is very high and you can literally see branches everywhere that just probably took flight from the street. Like one right there, one right there. So see that, but I'm sure we'll make something out of all this water fun, you know, at this point. Just kind of used to this, so. Alright guys, I will let you know what I do next though, so, but so glad everyone and the horses and everything is okay. Now let's do what I can physically do to keep them warm and the place dry, so let's go. Guys, we're literally, horses are eating hay off the water. Like look, look at her. And we trust me, we try to find a dry place, but if a lot of it fell as we were moving it, and she was like just eating it, so we're just going to go with um, but yeah, now there's probably gonna be like, hey, they're gonna be chasing hay around like Guys, and in the first hour of no rain, you can already start to sell. Look, you see it, it is already moving and it does drain fast, honestly. But this is all just gonna take a while. You can see how this spot, obviously it's going in here, which that will go in there. There, there, through there, all the way to the front of the house is where we have a, where the river connects. Like I already, can, look. One dry spot on a mount, uh, mat. So it's already moving out of the barn. I'm glad. I think our movement is doing it, but this, there is already a ditch right here. So this is all, this is gonna take a while. All right, guys. A little bit more of an update for you. That's all underwater. Oh my gosh, look at this stuff that has floated. Like that's our hot tub cover that is all the way over there. Oh my. I wonder if those are fit. No, they're not filled. We just use them. Yeah, my brother and mom are setting up generator now. Just a foot of water, guys, in this room. Like, oh my gosh. The dirt bike is literally up. And the tires are touching the Oh my. Yeah, this is more of the flooding. We already have people calling for tree service, which is great, but at the same time, we need to also take care. Oh, everything from that pond came into here. I'd also like, first it all drained in there. Oh my gosh, my pole, just my random pole. Guys, not joking, a foot of water. Like it's hard to pull through right now. And it's all moving now. It's all really moving. Like you can see it, it's coming this way which that came from the barn, and the barn went to the um, Kashi's in the pig pen, chicken pen stall. So it's try it's definitely going this way. That is where the river is, a deep river, and that's where the pond is. Oh, tree fell. My gosh, a tree actually did fall. Oh yeah, that's our three acres, guys, so. 
that is a whole nother story. We are working on clearing that. There is trails in there. Um, thank the Lord we cut down as many trees as we could um, around us, okay? Guys, this is a little too deep for comfort. Almost up to my knees. Big branch there. Wow, I'm surprised those in the tree. They're all the trees are just leaning. Oh no, where's all my dressage letters? Oh no, did it all blow away? All right guys, we literally are going to help people and we're loading up and stuff and it is super wet out here as you can tell. Um, but, um, but yeah, so I will keep you all updated. We're going to leave and go help people and, um, yeah, so, and see if we can get some jobs, but I'll keep you updated. Guys, this is the front. Literally, when we open the gate, the Kubota's here now because we're loading everything up, but when we opened the gate, there were so many things like tires and things that were like just stuck on the gate. Like the gate was like a barrier. It was crazy. Yeah, everyone's super wet. Cords are everywhere to hook up our generator. All right, guys, we are leaving. I have um, you know, some, some goodies. Um, and, yeah, so we're now going to just go to help people. We're going to DeLand because we've had some calls, too. Um, but I will keep you all updated, as I say. But um, when we come back, we're I think we're going to have really fun and just go, like, um, on the water. Put a boogie board up to Bella and, like, sling like we did last time. And it's just really fun. And, um, and we could really, like, run across the whole pasture. Um, so yeah, I will keep you all updated and of course vlog all that because that is amazing, but yeah, stay tuned. There's trees falling everywhere. Go and help yeah. some people. No, I'll put you first, John, so you just let me know. <gasps> we are plowing. Wow. We are plowing. Wow, that's good. Yeah, no, that is deep. We are plowing. Like, this got hit real bad. We've seen a lot of trees down and stuff. Oh, that's another one. Hey, guys, we are vlogging with my sister. Hey, guys, um, little update. We're at the job. Kind of just sitting in the car and my mom's handling it right now. Keep you all updated. Yeah. I can smell the fall. She can smell the fall. It's here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Prayers for all those who out there who got hurt by uh, Helene and Milton, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.